Good morning. It is Monday morning, catching me live right after waking up. But anyways, I'm picking up the camera right now because I am trying to hold myself accountable this week to get back into good healthy habits. And I have been so out of routine these past few weeks. I was traveling and then I got sick and just life just happens which is okay sometimes but i need to get back on it i have been so out of a flow with work with working out with cooking at home just cleaning my room like little things like that so welcome to this vlog i'm gonna take you along and use this as a way to hold myself accountable to like actually build up good healthy habits again so let's get into it i'm feeling optimistic about this week Okay, so step one to feeling like getting your shit together and like getting back into routine is just honestly putting on a workout, putting on a workout set. I swear it makes always makes me feel like 10 times more productive and more motivated to work out. I'm obsessed with this set from Gymshark slash Whitney Simmons collection. This color brown, I'm just very into browns nowadays. So, important next step, making a good breakfast. I just finished my loaf of my favorite gluten-free bread. It's this gluten-free sourdough from Young Cobras. So I'm just making some toast with also my favorite dairy-free cream cheese. I got this at the Mar Vista Farmer's Market. So I just got to the gym, official step one and getting good healthy habits again. I'm really excited and luckily I have my sister's car right now so I still don't even have a car in LA, but she's home in Chicago for a month and she let me borrow her car. She lives in LA too, which is really nice. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna kinda take it easy today because I haven't gone to the gym in like over a month. So I'll just like do a little bit of cardio and like a light workout. Let's catch you afterwards. So we just got back from Whole Foods, got a lot of stuff arguably too much stuff don't go to the grocery store hungry or you'll buy too much food so let's get into it i was just saying how i actually got more animal products at the store this time around than i normally do but that's on honoring your body and my body was kind of like telling me to do that so i got salmon some sliced turkey to make roll-ups these gluten-free chicken pot stickers i've had the veggie versions of these and they're so good for an easy quick meal. I honestly was trying to get a lot more like frozen foods just cause it's so much more convenient and just like quick meals. So yeah, don't be afraid of frozen food cause you can actually get good meals and good stuff in the frozen aisle. I like these veggie burgers from Dr. Prager's brand, my absolute favorite. I also really like these sweet potato fries from the brand Alexia. These are so good and I've been craving them. I've never gotten this before, but I'm excited to try a veggie pad thai. It's also gluten-free. Then got my favorite milk, Malk brand. Some more frozen stuff. I really like these Vans gluten-free waffles. They're just really good. The blueberry ones. Tropical fruit medleys. One's perfect for smoothies. I just add like spinach and some like flaxseed powder seeds and tastes delish. Seaweed. We're making the Emily Mariko salmon bowl tonight, so had to get some of that. Also for the bowl, got some sriracha and mayo, just regular mayo. Eggs. All right, some of my favorite products coming at you. First, we have these Simple Mills almond flour cookies. The absolute best thing ever. They taste like famous Amos cookies. They're so good. And then these Mary's crackers. Also my favorite. They're gluten-free, but don't taste like it at all. Siete Foods Almond Flour Tortillas. Oat flour for baking. Oat flour is my absolute favorite to bake with. And I also like this black bean salad. It's just super easy and convenient. Okay, some last favorites and produce. This Majestic Sprouted Hummus is the best thing in the whole world. You just have to try it. It tastes so good. And the ingredients are 
bomb. It's sprouted, so if you have a hard time digesting beans, it'll be easier to digest. Got some spinach, baby cucumbers, beets. Beets are so, so good for you, and this one's already made, and I was craving, which is nice. Berries, mushrooms, tofu, and chickpeas for some plant-based protein. Banana, onions, ginger root. I wanna make some like fresh ginger tea. Romaine, avocado, grapefruit, red onion to make pickled onions, lemon, apples. I was like weirdly craving cottage cheese, so I'm gonna try this one. Pico de gallo, some sushi ginger, and coconut water because I love it to put in my smoothies and just after a workout or like hot yoga, it's great. And this was a very successful haul. I'm eating at home from now on. We're only a few weeks late, but we're making the viral salmon Emily Mariko bowl, or Emily Mariko salmon bowl. Super pumped. First, I just made some salmon by, simple salmon by adding like olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder to it. And then the key is to bake it on high heat first from like 400 and then broil for an extra like five minutes. And then we got rice, I think it's ready. Sriracha, mayo, seaweed, and then I love kimchi and just some extra added pickled ginger for gut health. Also avocado. Let's assemble. Okay, so you've probably already seen the viral salmon bowl recipe on TikTok like a hundred times, but I'm gonna take you through what I did anyways. So we started by just heating up some basmati rice and then the cooked salmon, which I told you guys how I made it in, um, a little bit earlier. Then I just mashed up the salmon into the rice and then added all the toppings. Sriracha was so good. The mayo and lots of coconut aminos. I used that instead of soy sauce because it's gluten free and I honestly think that the coconut aminos just taste better. So I mashed that all up, added avocado of course, and then I also added kimchi on the side and served with seaweed. It was so good. I highly recommend that you guys try it out. I am so excited to try this. Got my seaweed. Got the bowl. I have to make a good first bite. It's so good. I'm so excited. It tastes like warm, deconstructed sushi. And cooked. Oh my god. This is incredible. I'm so excited. How have I never eaten this before? It's all my favorite things in one. This definitely lives up to the hype. Just meditated. Felt so good on my list of goals for this week. I have meditating every single morning on it and I love meditating in the morning. Like even before I check my phone, I'll just get up, go to my spot and just meditate for like five or 10 minutes, nothing crazy. And I swear just like now I'm already in such a like calmer, better head state to start my day. so good to go for a nice long walk. One of my goals this week is to also just walk every single day. We on it, team, I'm so proud of myself. We on the way to Natalia's place. We're about to work out together, which will be really fun. We've never worked out with her before, but I think it'll be good. Um, sometimes it's nice to just like work out with a friend and not always do it alone, you know? So we're doing a leg day today. 
Um, wish me luck. I haven't done like heavy weight lifting in a minute, but it'll be good. We're getting back on track. Day three this week of already working out and moving my body again. So all is well. We about to hit leg day. How we feeling? <laughs> Tired, but we're gonna we're gonna get a good set in. Yeah, right? that. Yeah, we're, we're ready. We'll get the energy going. First workout together. I know. I'm so excited. <laughs> Let's go. So for today's workout, me and Natalia did a leg day. It was so good. It was honestly a killer. These kettlebell swings are one of my favorite exercises. It was so good to warm up with. And then we just did a mix of things. She did some squats on the Smith machine. I did some glute kickbacks, which is one of my all time favorite exercises for glutes. And we just did a bunch of other stuff like um, lunges with weights and then hip thrusts. These were the absolute killer. I think they are why I'm still sore today, even literally six days later. Um, but uh, yeah, overall it was a great leg day and I'm so sore. For a post-workout meal, I have two turkey wraps just with lettuce, avocado, and a little mayo, on siete tortillas, pickles, and then extra sliced cucumber and hummus. We just got to a new plant-based all-vegan yogurt I'm so excited. place. Yeah, I know. I'm really excited to try. Haven't seen one of these before yet. It's like froyo but all-vegan. Perks of living in LA. Yo yogurt. Yogurt. Yeah, I don't like mochi. Really? I got a chocolate peanut butter swirl with gluten-free brownies, cacao nibs, and a little bit of chocolate sauce. So good. All gluten-free and vegan. This might be the best plant-based, like, ice cream ever had. Right? No, I'm freaking out. This is so good. I feel like a little girl again at the, at the ice cream store. Mm -hmm. I'm in heaven. Okay, we're headed to Erwan, but first I wanted to show you guys this new onesie I'm obsessed with. Fit is from Free People Movement. This stuff is so comfy. I actually love it. And I just took some pics, posted on the gram, and now I'm ready to get the day going. But I'm obsessed. This is so comfy. Can't recommend it enough. So tonight for dinner, we're making a teriyaki tofu and veggie stir fry. I have a bunch of veggies in the fridge that I need to make before we leave this weekend. We're going to San Diego before they go bad. So let me take you guys along how to make it. Super easy. So this recipe is one of my go-tos. It's a veggie and tofu teriyaki stir fry. So you're gonna to wanna to start by draining and rinsing a block of tofu and then pressing it really well to get the moisture out. I actually didn't do as well of a job pressing it, which is why I think the tofu didn't turn out well in this recipe, um, or it was just a bad block of tofu. But regardless, that's still how you do the recipe. And then I started by heating up some rice. I used basmati rice. While that was going, I started chopping up my veggies. You can really use any. I used sliced onion broccoli and mushrooms also added some garlic later on but that's the veggies that i had on hand so prepare all the veggies and then once the tofu has been sitting enough without um, with the block on it to get the moisture out cut it into cubes and then the way to get tofu nice and crispy is actually by adding cornstarch to it so I just like to add like a few spoonfuls of cornstarch to a bowl with tofu. I don't really measure, I just kind of, you know, eyeball everything, just make sure that it's all nice and coated evenly. And then after that, you're gonna wanna start to heat up some oil on a pan. I like to use avocado oil, it's my favorite to cook with. And start by sauteing all the veggies together, so yummy. Add any seasonings like garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, those are my go-tos. And then once the veggies are cooked a bit, you're gonna wanna cook the tofu on the other side of the pan. You might need to add a little bit more oil and then flip the tofu. So once that's cooked a little bit more, you're gonna add coconut aminos and teriyaki sauce. I love the teriyaki sauce from the Coconut Aminos brand. It's all gluten-free. Unfortunately, the tofu did not turn out well in this recipe, so you're just gonna see the veggies and rice in the finished product. But I hope the tofu turns out better. 
for your next recipe. It normally does. I think this was just a bad block or I didn't press it well enough. And it was still super yummy. This is the teriyaki sauce that I added both in the stir fry and on top. And it was so good. With the guest over tonight, <laughs> Sophia, hello. say hello to the vlog. Hello. You guys already know me by now. I know. Mm -hmm. Autumn's in my vlogs too much. I need more friends. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna be like, do you do you hang out with other people? I know. Yeah, do you? Is there anyone else? That you know me, I'm the honorary. No, you know. No one else? No one else. No. Oh, no. We just went to Hot Pilates this morning and we just got a delivery, oh my god, of these new sweet fin bowls or boxes. Let me show you guys. They just sent us these vegan sweet fin boxes. Oh my god, that looks so good. I really don't even know what's in it, but it just all looks amazing. So I'm just chilling, drinking some dandelion tea per usual. And I feel like I wanna give like some big sis advice on routine based on my own personal experiences this past week. And a few things. First, if you're trying to get back into a good routine and healthy habits, the best thing you can do is just start with one thing. Choose one thing that you know you can do to get the ball rolling and once you get momentum going in that direction it's going to be so much easier to do more and so we get so overwhelmed by thinking we need to do all of these things all at once but actually it's the opposite if you can just get started with one thing you'll see that you're going to naturally spiral and do more of that thing so even if it's just like going for a walk or going to the gym or making a meal at home or just like one thing you'll be surprised with how much it pushes the momentum forward. Like for me this week, just going to the gym and like forcing myself to do like a few workouts this week. Like on Friday, I went to a, a hot Pilates class, which was really cool. Um, and Wednesday, I made plans to work out with Natalia. So, and then Tuesday and Thursday, I went for walks. So making like plans to actually work out has just helped me be more productive, um, eat healthier, um, so many things. It helped me with work, it helped me with my sleep. Like, it just helped push me in the right direction to move forward, and each day got a little bit easier and easier. Another thing that I realized about habits and good habits and routine is that, and self-care in general, honestly, is that you're gonna have to do the things that you know are good for you and will make you feel good in the future when you least feel like doing them. And that's what I honestly think self-care is. It's not salt baths and face masks. It's doing it for your future self and doing it because you know you're gonna feel better even if you literally don't feel like doing it in the moment. Um, and I know when we get out of routine and habits, it's so hard to get back into it because we don't feel like doing it. And sometimes you just have to get past that I don't feel like doing it phase. Cause then once you get past that, then it's just routine and habit and you kind of just do it on auto drive. So pushing yourself to do things instead of feeling sorry for yourself and in victim mentality of like, oh my God, I'm so out of routine. Just do it. Force yourself to do one thing and watch how much easier the rest gets. So I hope this video helped you guys. Um, maybe it motivated you to get back into some good habits and routine, I don't know. Um, but I'm feeling really good after this week. I think that I'm like in a much better place, even mentally to go forward for these next few weeks to just be on a good schedule and habit and routine when it comes to work and health and everything. Um, so yeah, I am so happy you guys are here. You guys are here. I love you and I'll catch you in the next video.